The first step begins with understanding the classification of your medical device. The Philippines follows a risk-based classification system, dividing devices into four classes, from Class A, the lowest risk, to Class D, the highest risk. Understanding where your device falls is crucial to your submission process. Then, identify a local licensed importer and or distributor in the Philippines who will act as the representative for the foreign manufacturer. This entity must have a valid license to operate LTO as a medical device importer or distributor. Next, you need to prepare your product's technical documentation. This includes a detailed description of your device, its intended use, design and manufacturing information, and evidence of safety and effectiveness. Specifically, the Common Submission Dossier Template CSDT, is required for the registration of medical devices in ASEAN countries. The CSDT is intended to harmonize the submission of medical device information to regulatory authorities within the ASEAN member states, thereby reducing the need for multiple dossiers in different formats. The technical documentation required for submission in the CSDT format generally includes the following elements. 1. Executive Summary – A summary of the entire submission, including device description and evidence of conformity to the essential principles of safety and performance. 2. Essential principles and evidence of conformity, documentation demonstrating that the medical device conforms to the relevant essential principles, including any testing, standards, or other evidence used to demonstrate conformity. 3. Device description, detailed information about the device including its intended use, indications, contraindications, warnings, precautions, potential adverse effects, and any alternative therapy if applicable. 4. Design Verification and Validation Information on the design verification and validation processes, including any testing performed to ensure the device meets its design specifications and intended use. 5. Clinical Evidence Data supporting the clinical safety and performance of the device, which may include clinical trial data, literature reviews, or post-market surveillance data. 6. Device Labeling Copies of the device labeling, including instructions for use, indications, contraindications, and any warnings or precautions. 7. Risk analysis, an analysis of the risks associated with the device, including any measures taken to mitigate these risks. 8. Manufacturer information, information about the manufacturer, including the manufacturing process, quality management system, and any certifications. The CSDT dossier must be prepared in English and must contain all sections from 3.0 to 4. 6.1. If certain sections are not applicable to the medical device, a justification for the non-applicability must be provided under the section heading. All reports and supporting documents, such as labeling certificates and reports referenced within the CSDT submission, must be submitted as annexes and must be signed off and dated by an authorized person. Remember, the more thorough you are, the smoother the process will be. Once you have your technical documentation ready, you proceed to the next step applying for a Certificate of Product Registration, or CPR. This is done through the Food and Drug Administration of the Philippines online portal. This CPR is your ticket to legally distribute your medical device in the Philippines. To apply, you need to submit your technical documentation, along with a Declaration of Conformity and a Quality Management System Certificate. To apply for a Certificate of Product Registration, CPR, under the Philippines Food and Drug Administration, FDA, you should follow these general steps. 1. Prepare the necessary documents and information required for the application. This typically includes technical documentation, product information, and proof of compliance with relevant regulations. 2. File the application at the Center for Device Regulation, Radiation Health and Research CDRRHR, of the FDA. The CDRRHR is responsible for the regulatory functions for medical device products. 3. Ensure that your application includes all legal and technical requirements pursuant to the provisions of the applicable administrative orders and FDA circulars. 4. Pay the corresponding fees and surcharges as per the relevant administrative orders and FDA memorandum circulars. 5. If the application is for the renewal of a CPR, it should be filed following the FDA Memorandum Circular No. 2013-012, which outlines the revised policies on the application for automatic renewal of CPR for medical devices, excluding in vitro diagnostic products. 6. Applications along with the required documents should be submitted to the FDA Public Assistance Information and Receiving 
pair, unit. 7. Follow the schedule for filing applications as per FDA Memorandum, number E-2012, 008 or any subsequent updates to the schedule. 8. Once the application is approved, the CPR will be reissued and will have a validity of 5 years. After submitting your application, an evaluation process will take place. This could take a few weeks, so patience is a virtue here. The FDA will assess your documentation and may ask for additional information if needed. Once the evaluation is completed, and if everything is in order, you will receive your Certificate of Product Registration. Congratulations! Your medical device is now ready for distribution in the Philippines. But remember, the process doesn't end here. You need to maintain a post-market surveillance system. This ensures that any adverse events or product issues are promptly reported and addressed, guaranteeing the safety of the end users. Did you know there's a shortcut if your device has already been approved by a recognized regulatory authority from another market? That's right, the process can be expedited in these cases. You will need to submit proof of this approval as part of your application. This can potentially reduce the evaluation time, speeding up the time it takes to bring your product to the market. So, if your device is already making waves elsewhere, make sure to leverage that in your submission process. It could save you valuable time and resources. So to recap, first, classify your medical device. Get your technical documentation ready. Third, it's time to apply for a certificate of product registration. Fourth, submit devices that been approved by other markets. Navigating the submission process for medical devices in the Philippines may seem complex, but by following these steps and devoting the necessary time and resources, you can successfully introduce your device to this thriving market. Don't forget, Every stage is crucial to guarantee the safety and efficiency of your device. Consider each one with utmost seriousness. And with that, if you found this video helpful, why not share it with others who might benefit from it? They say knowledge is power. And by sharing this video, you're empowering others to navigate the regulatory maze with confidence. So go ahead, click that share button, and spread the knowledge. Stay tuned for more country-specific regulatory steps.